Ice cream and eternal darkness. Oh God, no, she's here, I whispered to myself as a sudden coldness ran down my spine. She'd come for me. I dropped my ice cream and ran up the stairs to my room, slammed the door behind me and locked it. I span around, but there she was, sitting in the center of the room. Doors, walls, locks, all useless against the powers he'd given her. Her eyes glowed white and curly silver hair waved around above her head. She was beautiful and terrifying. What do you want from me? I screamed at her. She rolled her eyes, stood up and began moving towards me. Lawrence, just like those who followed you, you fail to understand my function here. You have nothing I want. My presence is merely a matter of purpose. In fact, it surprises me at how much you seem to have forgotten about his law. She was right. I did know. I'd known from the moment I left that she would come for me, that he would send her to have his vengeance. But I hadn't forgotten his laws. How could I? After all, he'd etched them into the very stone my heart was formed from. I had only hoped that he had forgotten about them. When Gabrielle got within an arm's reach of me, I grabbed her and tried to wrestle her to the ground. But she just stood there, unshakable, immovable. <laughs> Please, she laughed as she grabbed my wrist and twisted it, forcing me to let go of her and go down to my knees. Good boy. And this is for thinking you could ever stand against me. You know the weapons of my warfare are not of this world. And she twisted my wrist another 180 degrees, snapping it and breaking my forearm in one swift movement. Please, Gabrielle, don't send me back. Break every bone in this godforsaken body, but do not make me go back, I begged. She shook her head. Pathetic. You call yourself the ruler of all evil, the prince of the powers of this world, and yet here you are, afraid to return to your true home and face the punishment of your father. You really are just a boy, aren't you? And with that, she opened the portal and I saw paradise pass me by one last time as she threw me into the void and I descended down into eternal darkness. Thank you.